Hey Nomi. I am here. We just need to extend it further. It's very important to us. <laughs> Welcome to my office. Welcome to the third episode of House of Neo and today we are in Berlin, German capital where we have the second Neo house we opened in Europe last December in 2022. Today we are showing you Berlin's newest attraction. Right next to the Eastside Gallery is our new innovation center. This innovation center will support new software teams including digital cockpits and digital systems. Hello Mark. Hey, Afonso. Thank you for hosting us here in the new uh, new Innovation Center okay, in Berlin. It's a pleasure. Uh, what's the role and what expectations do you have uh, from now on for these teams? Berlin Innovation Center is uh, crucially important. We are in China, we're in UK, we're in uh, Munich, we're in San Jose in the United States. Um, the deployment though needs to be done locally because only the local talents understand what the local users want. And over-the-air technology in general is definitely one of the key topics uh, in the automotive industry. How would you resume uh, this path over the last five years of FOTA and SOTA, this different over-the-air technology? The FOTA or updates over the air is um, new for the automotive industry. But in the smart device industry, it is a very mature organization. However, when this kind of technology comes into the automotive industry, the car is far more complex than any mobile phone put together. Um, so we started um, developing this technology actually back in 2015, from the day one. Now in 2018 was the first production car we launched in China, the ES18 China. We were able to do that. Now, the technology requires a lot of um, deeper level infrastructure, foundations, teamwork. So we have proof that this technology works as new in-house development. We just need to extend it further. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the difference between new and other OEMs, one of them is definitely uh, the relevance of the feedback from the user. How do you see this? this working relation between the user, our target that will use all the products that have been developed and the teams at NEO. How do they work together? So we created many, many touch points with our users um, from the uh, car with constant upgrade of our vehicle through FOTA or SOTA. But not only the car, we also have touch points, many touch points with our users <coughs> through power management systems, swap stations, new house, new life. So all these combined, we're getting a lot of feedback from our user group, which really help us to aim our targets. Mm -hmm. Another thing that distinguishes uh, new from the OEMs, besides the user-centric approach, is definitely the investment since day one in R&D. Why is this so crucial for new? Yes, we have over 10,000 um, experts, engineers, talented scientists. So, you know, we saw the opportunity back in 2015. We saw the computer science industry, the many, many technologies were becoming matured. Eventually you have a smart EV is a different story. So no doubt, it's an opportunity for us, and no doubt we have to invest in it. So for battery, we need electrical chemical experts. For software, we need operating system experts, application software experts, artificial intelligence experts, cloud experts. So we continue invest in this field, and we build a strong R&D team in NEO to serve better our users and to become more efficient in the R&D field of NEO. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mark, Thank for hosting you. us. So today we are talking with Benjamin Steinmetz, Head of Product Experience in Europe, and also Dominic Massoni, Head of Localization for Nomi in Europe. Hey Nomi, could you tell us a bit more about Benjamin and Dominic? 
Ben studied automotive design and systems engineering in Ingolstadt and Munich. He and his team are responsible for defining all the products for Europe and ensuring user satisfaction, from vehicles to software. Dominique studied software engineering in Avignon, France, where he obtained a PhD degree in speech technology and dialogue systems. Now Dominique is leading the efforts of NEO in Europe to bring me, know me, to life. So we are here at the Nomi team part and right here we have the Nomi test bench where you can see exactly what you have in the car. So you have the dashboard screen behind the steering wheel, Nomi and the central screen. So hello Dominic. Hello. First of all, where are we? Welcome to my office uh, where we are working with my team and the test team on the localization of mm -hmm. Nomi. So bringing uh, Nomi her voice and language for the European market. So how is user feedback impacting Nomi improvements? So first we collect their feedback based on what we provide to them, but then we also use their feedback to improve the scope and the skills. So basically we are adding more and more skills, more viability into the system. We spoke before about the, the UABs, the User Advisory Board of NEO, which play a very important role in the development and also in the testing phase of our products and, and technologies. You have been participating in several events, right? Exactly, exactly. I met uh, in different locations, the user, the UAB in Munich, in, in Berlin. Berlin as well. And uh, it's always very nice to have those uh, exchange. We can mm -hmm. go uh, beyond the chit chat kind of discussion. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. very much, Novik. Welcome. Thank you. Whenever new users want to send feedback about something which they are suggesting to the team or some bug that might be happening, they can just say, Hey Nomi. I am here. I want to give feedback. Sure, I'll record your feedback and send it to our service team who will help you with that. Now, please tell me more about it. I just wanted to say thank you for the great improvements over the last eight months, Nomi, here in Europe. Thank you for your feedback. Also, feel free to contact our service team anytime for further comments. And now, the audio file is sent to the NEO team, which will take care of the feedback from the user and solve it as soon as possible. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, Claudio. Hi. Welcome to the Innovation Center. Thank you. So how important is the, this Berlin Innovation Center uh, for news performance in Europe? Uh, it's very important to us because we need to respect the different user habits and preferences in Europe. Mm -hmm. And the Digital Innovation Center enables us to develop features and adapt features towards these needs and preferences. And which teams will be working here uh, from now on? So it will be mostly the teams around the digital experience, so all software related parts. Uh, but also supporting teams like user research, uh, UX design, right? Also to adapt these to interact with the users. So since 2018, NEO has been launching over-the-air updates uh, in its models. And also we are seeing at this moment all the other OEMs doing the same thing. But what makes the NEO uh, different in this aspect? For us, OTA updates are not there for the sake of technology or for bug fixing. Um, for us, it's a tool because we are a user enterprise, right? So we interact with our users, we listen to their suggestions, to their complaints. They are telling us directly via the app, via Naomi, via the fellows in the NEO houses. Mm -hmm. And th this input is then processed by us, uh, mm -hmm. taken into account, taken into the development funnel and in the end also tested by us from a user perspective. And which feature can you tell us as an example that came from user's feedback. Yeah, definitely. So we had a lot of users uh, who were asking for smart charging. Um, the first request was actually for Tipper, which is an energy provider. Uh, but then we also decided, okay, Tipper is not in every country. So we also do a native smart charging solution for our users who are not able to use Tipper. Mm -hmm. And these were two features which are already launched by now um, to fulfill this user need of um, optimized charging. Perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Benjamin. You. And this was the third episode of House of Neo. We catch up next month for the fourth one. Thank you.